Hello, fellow property managers, real estate investors, and landlords. My name is Scott, once again, with Harbor Property Management. It is March 2024, and just giving you another update on some of the interesting laws and changes in our industry since January 1st. Wanted to keep you updated. Really quick, four items in particular that I want to cover with you briefly. If you have any questions, hey, keep in mind this is not legal advice. I'm just updating you from what I'm reading on some of the things that are coming down the line. Effective January 1st, for example, the maximum fee for tenant screening is now $62.02. And the most um, important thing to remember about this is that you cannot charge in excess of what it costs you to run the credit report plus a reasonable value on the time that you're spending processing that application. Just keep that in mind, $62.02. And then effective January 1st is the applicants for your properties can now purchase their own reusable credit reports and they can sling those around to a variety of landlords for a 30-day period. You don't have to accept these reusable tenant or applicant credit reports but if you do, you're not able to allow to legally charge them for the screening fee or application fee. Just remember that. And again, I would more likely choose to run my own tenant screening reports rather than rely on one that's provided to me. That's my humble opinion. Um, the next thing, and I'm going to get a little bit into detail on this, is AB2216. That's the assembly bill. And this is sponsored by... Um, the Humane Society, and then there's an Assemblyman Democrat, Matt Haney from San Francisco. And so what this is, is basically eliminating the extra monthly fees that you can charge for pet rent. So this guy has his way. Uh, there will no longer be your ability to charge for pet rent. I mean, why in the world would we charge a pet rent? Not like pets cause an insane amount of damage to our properties. Um, so just want to make you aware of that. And it gets worse. Um, this will prohibit, let me read this, prohibit blank, blanket bans on pets in rental housing. So, you know, no pets policy. They're, they're trying to get rid of that. And, um, make it so that you can't even ask on a rental application if you have pets or not. That's how crazy it's getting. Just wanted to update you. Keep an eye out for that Assembly Bill 2216. Um, they're working on that this month, and they're going to try to set that up for November. Finally, I'm submitting an article to the Apartment Owners Association. Keep an eye out for that. It's going to be in their magazine coming up here in a month or two, and it's proper tenant screening. I just want to let you know in property management, landlord business, rental business, there's a ton of liability out there. That's why it's really important to have a good management company that knows what they're doing. Um, they have policies in place and they have experience and they know how to, to, to take a look at qualified applicants or not. So just want to make you aware of that. If you are a do-it-yourself landlord, and I talk to you all the time, I talk to uh, landlords every single day, considering management or not, those of you that are doing it yourself, I want to make you aware, you must have a rental criteria. I am getting inundated with applicants who are claiming discrimination because we didn't approve their application because of X, Y, and Z. And it's becoming more and more common. And let me tell you, you don't want to get a, a discrimination complaint from the Civil Rights Department because, look, you're going to be spending a ton of your time, I mean a lot, just defending yourself. And they're going to want to see so much information and applications and, and what's your rental criteria. That's the first thing they're going to ask you for. So you must have a rental criteria. HarborPM.com, under tenant screening, I have my rental criteria there. That protects you. It protects us as your manager. Feel free to copy it. I don't mind. I want to keep everybody safe um, and, and tweak it if you like. But uh, definitely have some criteria written down that is on the application and acknowledged by the applicant so there's no question of did they know or not what you're, what you're looking for in a qualified renter. 
So I hope this helps. Call me anytime. I'm Scott with Harbor Property Management, and uh, I'm here for you if you have any questions. Best of luck to you, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you.